All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Pavilion. I'm joined by Shell, my lovely co-commentator, even though you'll never be able to see her. <laughs> and uh, Wait, yeah, we're buddy. gonna be playing this game together. So this is made by Vision Trick Media, a Swedish game company. I'd never really heard of them apart from a couple of screenshots here and there, and I thought this game looked absolutely gorgeous, which is part of the reason why we're playing it. But apparently, uh, the developer, at least the guy I talked to, has heard of me and watched my Pan Pan playthrough as well as our abduction playthrough. Uh, and I thought that was really neat. I'm not used to developers actually knowing about me. He even knew as far as the fact that we've, we're in a new apartment, which I thought was really cute. Well... It's just, I mean, it's like a personal detail, but it's still nice to know, like, the develop. You know, I get all these emails from developers that are like, you know, I'm a fan of your channel, play my mobile game, even though I've never played a mobile game before, and it's... I mean, yeah. with some digging, do you have any of your... Like face cam videos or your podcast? I have a couple, but like still, that shows initiative. Anyway, let's start. Uh, but I just want to attribute uh, the fact that developer the developer is a cool dude. Also, the keyboard controls are awful for me because I got one of those ergonomic keyboards with like the worst level of uh, worst arrow buttons ever. <laughs> I need a new keyboard that doesn't have. It's like arrayed in a plus sign. It's super awkward for gaming. The one thing I don't like about having to get a new keyboard to to replace the old Mac one that was screaming, uh, hard to press the keys in. Yeah. Yeah. Now... So this is a fourth person puzzle game. So you're playing as the ball, not I as am the, the ball. Person. Yeah. It's like if you're if uh, Super Mario Galaxy was only played from the perspective of the second player. Well, what about if you were Navi instead of Link? Yeah. Imagine if you had to, like, tell Navi where... No, 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 no. Where, go back or, up, go Link. back up. I don't want you to leave that yet. I want to look at it. Okay. So, there's a bell. Weird hand tentacle. Held between two... Crazy. Writhing arm structures with torsos? Yeah, like, that's an ass there, so I assume there's... The statue pointing this but direction. But then there's like, like the this. laurel of leaves, which is usually supposed to designate like some kind of special um, accolades or. I mean, look, there's even arborvitae trees. Yeah. It has a very Grecian appearance to it all. Yeah. And there's, I mean, it is a pavilion. If yeah. You, if you notice. Um. God, this is pretty. So where did our guy go? Uh, he panicked. He's dead. Oh, no, wait, no, there he's he is. he's all the way down. I kind of wish... Can we, like... I kind of want to go back so I can just figure out what happened to him. Okay, so what can I interact with here? We've got another bell. That doesn't seem to do anything. Wait, do it does. Anything? Oh. Don't you notice that it lit the, the markings underneath? Ooh, a oh. pocket watch. Okay. Yeah, now, so effectively we are guiding this guy through as he does things. Oh yeah, you're right, it does light it up. Well, I'll just sub power this Eldritch portal and nothing. Confusing! Hey, it, it's like your eyes blinked. Okay, so clearly we don't have any, um... We don't have any, like, identity for this character. What do you think we should call him? He looks like a... I mean, he looks he's... like John Dinkelstein. There we no, go. He Professor just... John Dinkelstein, <laughs> expert in the Eldritch and other just, associated. Just watch this be the nightmare of a classical art teacher or something. My <laughs> statues! <laughs> what did my students do? No, not not that. Just got all like super necronomicon y up and everything. Wait, and so you like... didn't want to go all the way up there? There seem to be some stairways winding around. There's this a direction. lot of things all over the place. Currently, we're collecting More keys. keys. Yeah. It's interesting where he's doing all the running around. Uh, all right, can you light that lamp? No. Uh, I want it, you to go no, no, there. no, no, no. It's just an alternate path through. Uh, an alternate if you notice, path? Yeah. There seems there's another door, but eh. But abandoned. that's down below. Like. <laughs> I don't know. He, he's already run off. Yeah, uh, so there's he's, a fire. He's here, warming his hands, probably. I mean, 
John John Dinkelstein, Professor John Dinkelstein is uh not exactly, you know, insulated. Why don't you like those lamps at least? Let's start with this one, see if he does anything. The answer is no. Oh, I see. Does he only travel where there isn't shadow? Actually, it looks like we got to do something else. Oh, I see. Oh, he doesn't like the shadow, so ring the bell, but light that up as soon as you can. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Lemmings here. I hope at some point we can lead him to his most certain death. Uh... But, it'd be funny. He's, he, like, it'd actually be really funny if this game was programmed so that, like, depending on how you led him through the mazes, he'd get... Wait, there's... A woman. A ghost. A ghost woman. No, it Maybe looks it's like Mrs. Dinkelstein. Mrs. Professor Dinkelstein. It looked like an actual woman, though. Yeah, but then she faded out of existence. What do you mean, actual woman? Are you saying married women aren't actual women? No, no, no. <laughs> I, as opposed to an apparition or a ghost woman. A real woman, you know? I could see that. But then she faded out of existence. So maybe she just has trans-dimensional properties. No, she's up there, see? No, she is see-through in everything. No. She was 100% see-through. Oh, hey. And we open up the locket, and it's a pavilion! That it is. Professor John Dinkelstein's secret love. Pavilions. He loves them so much. <laughs> really? Look, I have to come up with a backstory somehow. It's not like this game's gonna give me one. Now, what's up with that bell to the right? So there. There's, um. I mean, it's two gates. I don't know why he's doing that. The animation's real good. But yeah, you ring the bell, so he goes. He goes this direction. Hopefully, that op those should open that door there. Uh, oh. He has to get up to that. I got it. You got to trap him in, so he solves the problem for you. I like it that he runs all the time, though. That is a really nice. Uh, I'm gonna say feature, because like I would hate this sort of thing if I actually if he and was he like w walking slowly. Yeah, so he couldn't go up the tower, but he's gonna go this way. Yeah, so. He went to the bell and then he started going back, but by locking him in, he took the ladder the around. Route. Yeah. This guy has no critical thinking skills. <laughs> okay, so we want to go. What? Oh. Well, so there's several bells. Oh, I got it. Ringing them in a particular sequence gets more sort of, of them activated. Uh, so this one activates this sigil and this sigil. And so by ringing this one, he came over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a timed puzzle, too. Oh, it's the door fine. closed again. I, I, I should explain this anyway. I, I have this bad habit of figuring it out, but then not explaining it. So. Well, you, you figured it out rather swiftly. Yeah, so, so by bringing him here and then bringing him over here, he stepped on this, which is the switch. But right. now we got to bring him back. And then we've got to get him over into the door before... And so he goes to the one that's pinged closest. Because mm -hmm. it technically pinged all three of those that it was connected to. It's actually pretty simple, comparatively. I think this is actually put on the NVIDIA shield, of all things. Um, which is kind of like a, a tablet... Uh... All right, that opened two. Do you want to go inside the building or? Um. Oh, geez, that's an interesting question, actually. I don't know if we <laughs> have the... control over that anymore. No. Well, maybe that Wait. large door is the building. Maybe I bring him back to this one. And then we can go in. It seems like there are multiple doors to pull from. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a little bit more like active puzzles as opposed to leading the guy around, but I guess it's not so bad. He he does not give a shit about 
He likes D the fire. Dinkelstein's hands are cold. He doesn't care about getting out of the rain as long as his hands are warm. <laughs> in fact, he likes, likes being damp. It makes him feel right at home. He grew up in a swamp. He's actually a toad man. You can't see his face. He's wearing a human mask. Um... Okay. Look, like, like I said, gotta provide a backstory here. Uh-oh. I need to get him over there. Huh. Oh, hey. Oh, that brought him to the next area. But that will get him over that one. I just need to bring him over that one. The timing is hard. Okay, does he go through it? Yes! yes. Okay, good. Dinkelstein is not a smart cookie. <laughs> he's a professor in, um... Well, I mean, he's a... He somehow got a doctorate in, um... In... Greco-Roman, uh... Well... <laughs> in pavilions? Uh, uh, no... No, 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 no. No. I mean, it's not to say that he... That is, it doesn't require intelligence. It requires... He got Artistic lost analysis. so much in college that they didn't find him for 30 years. I like how years. they have um, wisteria and such. Oh, but yeah. that stuff was so smelly when we went to Croatia. It, it had a it had a very definitive and persistent stonk. <laughs> okay. So I feel I, bad for the, uh, the house that had them completely lining the front of their uh, fence, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're probably used to it. You get used to a persistent stonk, and then, well, just... Oh, and you have to go back down to that one. Yep. Come on, Dinkelstein. Dinkelstein. You can... Oh, jeez. Oh, you barely made it. Uh... Oh, but he got the gate open. That's the point. Okay, there we go. Come on, Dinkles Dinkelstein. Run. I believe in you. You can door. Yes. Okay. I like his run cycle, but yeah, no, he's he's a master at getting really lost to the point where he's not even sure he's on Earth anymore. Now, oh, so there's a switch box rather than a bell box. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it transfers the lines. I don't know what I just did. I assume I succeeded. Actually, mm, yes. Huh. This well, you did bring game that up. is gorgeous. Reminds me of Monument Valley. I think and it's just like uh, execution, which is, oh. So. Oh, you know, we just did that box. You were supposed to run them around. Doesn't this look similar? Well, yes, it's the structure of what was in the box. Those are the entangling cords. There's one. Yeah, so what you have to do is you have to trace the cords. Yep. Properly. Yep, oh, that one. I think that should work. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Is that in the way? Nah. Yeah. Well, the point is there's actually five here. I did it wrong. That last one that I did actually leads him to the door. So if I ring this, he goes up. Mm-hmm. And it opens. I don't know how, why there'd be a time limit there, but I, I guess so. I will admit, time limits on this sort of thing always make me feel kind of weird. All right. You ping that, and... Well, you have to... Oh, so you have to ring the bell and quit, do a quick switch. <gasps> I have Myrtle Dinkelstein! The, oh, wait, no, he's good. Wait, the darkness... But it injured him. Is he gonna get- is he gonna recover? Maybe he has to go to a fire. Note to self, don't murder the Dinkelstein. Is what we would oh, call- He doesn't even have the strength to go up a ladder! It is what we would call in the industry, kind of a dick move. Now we sacrifice him for <laughs> our lord and sav savior. Uh, th Wait. Th uh, Dot Thulu. Was that just a tutorial in 
healing him? I guess so, yeah. So that was done... He is feeling pretty good right now. He's like, yes! I fell 20 feet. So I wonder if the pad. shadow would have come... Like, I wonder if no matter how well you did that section, he would always be hit by the shadow and fall off so that you Probably. Can... Ooh, mirrors. This is, is it a portal? Wait, oh, look, there's a knight! He's touching it. Is he gonna go yeah, through? Yeah, you touch that mirror. Yeah. And now he's over here. Yay. What did that do? Not a freaking clue. Ring the bell. Good luck, Dinkelstein. I believe in you. Well, now we know that mirrors are portals. This is truth. Oh, hi. I always like the ideas that mirrors are portals, just in the way that books can be. Yeah. What? I think one of my oh. older novel ideas was a tale called Mirror Realm. It was interesting. Okay, so that gets that one. Turn that on. We ring this. Then we ring this one. And since this... Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Hey! Now where? Oh. Up and through. Well, that's easy enough. I'm not gonna say this is like a mind-blowing game. But there's definitely a substantial, substantial, I would say, frequency of what going through my head with everything that happens here. Wait, so he's touching that. Yeah, you touch that wall. And summon Eldritch Energies! <laughs> okay, so we know- Oh! Can he lift it with his mind or something? No, we can. We can. We're the most helpful floaty ball thing. Filled with Eldritch energies. I, I do wonder what that over there was. Yeah, I mean, it was just a thing. No, I it was a light to something. We may have missed something. I don't, maybe? The problem is, like, Why this would game... there be a lamp over that stretch of land but if like, nothing was there? Okay, hold on. But, like, there's this here. Which is totally, like, a seating area-ish. No, 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 no. There was actually yeah, a... Those are uh, totally, like, There was models. actually a lamp in the last stage that you could have oh. looked at. Okay. It just feels like there's a lot of like visual details like that some of those um platforms in that well, first area. I wonder if area. you're just going to the most obvious uh routes without actually trying to go to the ones that are less plausible. Maybe we could try it, but this game doesn't seem particularly um Oh, what? Okay. Well, so he found a part of Another photograph. picture of a pavilion. Oh, yeah, Professor Tinklestein is on fire. <laughs> His favorite thing in the world. Pavilions. And we have so many of them here. This literally might be heaven for him. <laughs> He's not sure. Oh, there's another drawer. Let's see what he finds there. Key. Dinkelstein fear. <laughs> Be funny if he like panicked. Well, hey, it... he panicked and got the key. <laughs> Apparently, intimidating him with a giant stone block seems to work. Okay. Ah, he opened it up. Yep. Can I? Can I do this? Can you lift it off? And, oh. oh, yeah, you put it on the spot where he was. It's easy peasles. How do we get him out of there? Look down. Is there... Uh, whoa! <laughs> That's right, get that key. <laughs> I literally <laughs> had to chase him with a block to get him to where we needed him to go. <laughs> now oh. ring the bell. This game is weird. I actually like how weird it is, but it's just like that. Yep, that just happened. Yeah, you might be right about the alternate paths through, admittedly. Because there was. There's all that up there. Well, we're going up there. See this oh, ladder? Oh, yeah, I, I see. Because there was the building that we could have gone into. 
originally. Well, and then, yeah, there was that last chamber where I swear there was one of those lamps that you could have turned on. But, uh, have to see. Oh, you need to move that out, don't you? Yeah. Make him go to that. But then it means you'll have to shuffle the blocks out of the way so he can climb the ladder. No. Oh, no. Yeah, he won't, because there is a way. So what I need him to do... Is go to the one to the left. Ring that oh, bell. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Get this out of the way. Nope. No, not that one. You have to actually... No, Professor Dinkelstein, don't do that. So we have to block him in first. Mm-hmm. So he stays there, but if I do this... Huh. He's not going to run up to that one. Maybe shuffle that one out and shuffle this one in. Pull that back. But you have to make sure he's over there. Yeah. And then move that one in. Oh. See? Oh, except... No, this works. Okay. I think? Yeah, he's gonna go on that one. Uh, but you need to move that one behind him. Yeah. Okay. See, the problem is, this is a timed puzzle, which doesn't make this any easier. So we need him to root through both of these. Well, okay, so when he's running this way, pull that box right now. Right now. No, hold on. Oh, no, he needs to get to this down there. But, okay, so what we would do is trap. So when he gets we here, pull we pull this. Yes, that's what I was okay, asking. Okay, so let's do this. Get him to so start the time again. So we do that again. now while he's doing that. No, he's not, oh. he's not gonna go to it there. No, 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 no. Oh, that way he's gonna take the closest route. And then, yeah, pull that forward. He's gonna have to go this way. Yep, let him yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. And we've got more than enough time for this. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Come on, Dinkle Dinkelstein. Dinkelstein, <laughs> you can do it. Door closes on him. Cutting him in half, killing him instantly. Game uh... over. Oh! Okay, so... So now this is another sliding puzzle. Yeah, same dealio. Yeah, um, the key is to get him up in there, over to the right, go to the left, and then back again. So if we do this... He's gonna run there. Okay, then pull that through. Oh. Pull oh. it back. Pull it back. What are you doing? No, 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 no. I'm just watching how he moves, because he goes there. But you see, he's not going to go that way unless oh, we I pull see. the he box back. Oh, I see. He goes back to the fire. Yeah. So, actually, if we do this... Can he run that way? Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. There's this little pathway right here. Well, let's see if he actually this does one. take it. Okay, so we ring that. Oh, there. yep, there is a path there. And then we move this here. And there we go. Yep. He's gonna run around. Actually, a lot easier than we give it credit for. It's just a matter of, like, watching how he moves. And I know if I listened to you directly, we'd solve it faster, but sometimes... I just gotta see with my own three eyes. <laughs> Don't you mean four? <laughs> Man, that's insensitive. I only look at a one of them, you know. Well, then technically you have two. Still insensitive. <laughs> I wear glasses for people that aren't quite understanding what's going on here. <laughs> and also inner eye, inner eye jokes, seeing as it seems to be appropriate. This game, you know what this game's like visual style reminds me of? Hmm. Like a slightly more realistic version of... Um, oh, hey, he can get what's in that chest now. Yep. This reminds me of a much more realistic version of Transistor. Like, especially this right here. Well, I noticed that they were actually using... Oh, he's using it as a lift-up as opposed to something well, that's that you cool. could take it out. Huh. 
Whoa! What's going on over there? I don't know, freaky business. We're gonna keep doing it. In other words, do not get electrocuted. Oh, it's it's materializing something from another dimension. That much was obvious. The question is... Okay, so we've got two bells. We've got this here that we need him to drag down. That's the problem. There's got to be something I can interact with here that... Well, can you pull a box onto those buttons? You said that there's a box up there, right? Yeah, this right here. So if we could get him up and over and around or something. Okay, let's see. This is the only puzzle solving thing I have right now. Which means there's so gotta be something I can do with it. Wait, so there wasn't a bell elsewhere? Not that I've encountered. Oh, that brings you up there, though. But... Does it? Does it? It kind of does, but it also kind of doesn't. Because what would be in there? Yeah, I don't know. But also, it doesn't look like the kind of thing that he could actually stand on. The, the and also, we can't get him back to it. is getting to be a bit annoying. I agree. I also can't seem to figure out... What I'm supposed to do here, apart from... Wait, what if I do this? There we go. Oh. Now he's gonna be forced to push the box down, which will keep that one electrified. There we go. So what does this do? It looks like a laptop on a desk. Well, it's gonna materialize. Let's see. It... Or is it like a kitchen island or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a kitchen island. Hey, it's 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 Professor Dinkelstein's kitchen. Look at him, so dutiful with his run. So wildly out of shape in life. Oh hey, there's a woman this in the other room. Uh no, no there's not. Wait, wait, what happened? Where did she go? She died. Oh no, but look, he's dead and she's crying. Or reading? Kind of looks like a book in her hand. So... It looks like it's looping, so let's see how it plays out. No, but he's not there anymore. He was there momentarily. Oh, there he is. Oh. No, he's moving. So he either he is in the process of dying or whatever. Yeah, this is specifically super transistory in my head. So this yeah. is cool. This is it looks like a nice apartment. Yeah, uh, so what's in that room? That's a oh. painting of her playing this piano. Is that a lot of recording equipment? And well, that's the piano. Television. That's the bed. Giant painting of her. TV. This is the bedroom. Ties, shirts. Okay. Man. Well, let's explore the house. If we can. Imagine this guy doesn't actually know he summoned this light orb to show him the way in life. So he's just freaking out this entire time. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, what is this? Why is my house moving? What was that animation? Was he pulling up his socks? Inspecting the glowy lights on the floor? Uh, yeah? Oh, some of the books are floating. So by turning off the... Whoa! But you just... You just... You're teleporting him elsewhere, that's it! He's not gonna... No turning back! Summoning Cthulhu! But... You, you could Cthulhu have, for You could have tried getting him into the bedroom. What if you missed something? There was no doorway to the bedroom, though. Yeah, also, there was. I thought all those bookshelves, you just moved closed doors, didn't they? Sort of. I think the entire point was that we'd get to this section, though. So we yeah. can continue with this zone. Hmm. Okay. I get the feeling we'll be back to that house. And if it turns out that I'm totally wrong and there's multiple routes through here, I will give you a second playthrough. 